a pleasure for me to be presenting the roundtable on sustainable biofuel, just also because just in the title there is this magic or very puzzling word about sustainability. And what we are trying to really promote is ensuring that biofuel really deliver on their promise of sustainability, but how do we define it? That's um, the question. So I push here. Yeah. So what is this, the roundtable on sustainable biofuel? In fact, it started about two years ago because there was a lot of a discussion about biofuel and sustainability and a lot of questions and concerns. So um, it was set up as a group of stakeholders who really wanted initially to know more and try to define what could, how to go about developing biofuel uh, sustainably, but being able to define it, but also being able to define some type of uh, principles and criteria which are simple, easy to, to implement, but which can be also used in different contexts, because biofuel, I think you have heard, I mean, when talking about second generation, we are talking about algae, but if talking about first generation, we talk about corn, we talk about su uh, sugarcane or palm oil, so many different crops, and it should be generic enough. It should be adaptable, because there is so many gaps right now in terms of knowledge, so we need to be able to incorporate that knowledge about as we go along. And it should be also economical. So, and also as we want to improve in terms of trade, it should also be facilitated in terms of trade and compliance with WTO. So, the RSB was started two years ago and by a, a multi-type of stakeholders group, which in fact initially was fairly representative, but now to be even more balanced geographically and with a different type of stakeholders, we are currently reviewing the governance to really incorporate all the type of stakeholders. And in fact, we would be very happy to see the aviation industry even <laughs> being part and uh, looking um, to be part of the, this governance. We are based at the Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, so because here we feel that being scientific there, we can incorporate also the new scientific knowledge. And we have been working, looking at the different key issues, especially GAG, the environmental issues, the social issues, and now the groups will be starting to be more active on implementation. The key uh, feature of the Roundtable and Sustainable Biofuel is that we have been trying to encompass all the voices from the different type of stakeholders. So we have been using wikis and we have engaged very widely in different regions to try to really to capture what are all these concerns and issues. And these uh, debates have been around how to define sustainability, um, which are encompassed in what we call the version zero of the principles and criteria, which in fact uh, has, is what we have been um, discussing. And these, they are structured around some key principles, like around the legality, and that's about how um, communities are, can be um, engaged, how the social factors can be uh, tackled, how is um, the greenhouse gas um, impact accounted for, dealing in terms of environment, especially protecting soil, water and air, but also looking at the very debatable area, which is high conservation values. Um, and then looking also in terms of technology, um, in terms of uh, how first also like the biotechnology can be improved, but also for the second uh, type of uh, generation, how so that it's all well um, done uh, responsibly, and also looking at economic efficiencies. In fact, there are two columns because these principles and criteria, which now are under consultation, and we are now from moving from that initial view into what will be something which will be much more certifiable. 
we have encompassed direct and indirect uh, changes. And in fact, these indirect changes are mainly those who are being the concern for, with the first generation type of biofuel, which are like food security, which are like, uh, is there an impact with land displacement? And these uh, will, are likely to not be tackled through certification but through other type of mechanism, while what will be uh, part of what uh, we are designing as a certification will be more the direct uh, uses. So this is the basis of our definition of sustainability and talking about there will be, as they are first generation here, we want to encompass what is um, trying to find co coherence in the existing initiative. So we are designing a benchmarking system. And for these new um, potential second generation biofuel, then what would apply are generic uh, standard, which would be, that would be the base, but we still need to define indicators. So this is still work in progress. So just rapidly, that's a very important feature is the meta standard, which is the idea of trying to have one um, biofuel being able to come from different origin, we want to be able to provide equivalence so that then as a user, whatever uh, it comes from, you, are, you feel reassured in terms of its sustainability. So just how it would work, but this especially applies for the first generation, but if there are some in, uh, standards which develop for other product, it would be similar. It, the idea there are various initiatives, and then we look at are the principles met, and then there are qualifying standards, and maybe some of the issues which are not tackled we would take as gap, and so that, and be able to certify specifically as um, the RSB, but for the rest we would rely on specific initiative. In terms of um, trying to improve always, we really want to put some scorecard concept, which is the idea to have a minimum standard, but then to try to push for always have a progress in terms of the um, improvement of criteria of sustainability. So this is how it could look for some of the criteria. So where are we at? So now we are just um, integrating all the comments from we had in terms of what it means in terms of the definition of sustainability into a new uh, version, version one, which should be ready by early June. And we are also at the time now where we are thinking about how to go and implement these standards. So thinking about all this tricky issue, which will be dealt also in the second part of this panel, about how to go to put it through the supply chain and to have a system which is uh, easy cost uh, and not costly. The key uh, message I like to is really that we hope that this standard can help to really help you also provide this confidence in terms of making sure that sustainability is uh, well tackled. So, thank you.